So welcome back. Uh, we've finally got the um, ailerons and elevators hooked up to the uh, simulator. And what you're looking at here is a view from an F-18 cockpit uh, because Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 doesn't have an A-4. So we're flying along in an F-18. Um, view would be similar to a Skyhawk. And we're down in the Godly Valley in New Zealand, just uh, running up the valley towards the top end. So you can see uh, quite clearly that I've got the, um, the ailerons and um, the pitch uh, working okay. So there's the stick down there, um, that's what's operating all of that. And if we come around the front, we'll see what I've done here as far as hooking it all up. So there's the Arduino, um, which is connecting through to the computer, and the uh, software we're using for that is Moby Flight. I had a bit of a problem with the original um, plug that I got from uh, China. Um, the connection wasn't working too well, so I've reverted to the uh, original plug here, which goes from a DB9 to a DB25. Now you can see all the connections at the top there. Uh, on the left we have the connections for the uh, aileron. So T3 was the analog pin, uh, T4 was the 5 volt, and B3 was ground. Uh, and then for elevator on the other side we had um, T5 for the analog, T6 was the 5 volt, and then underneath B5 was the ground. And using the Fritzing diagram I had uh, drawn up earlier, we can see the breadboard there. All of this, of course, is very temporary, um, stuck down with bits of tape so it doesn't move. On the left hand side there, we've got um, the earth uh, wires, and then on the other side is the 5 volt. And they're coming back to the uh, Arduino there. So on the left hand side, the two blue wires going in, uh, A0 and A1, they're the analog pins for the aileron and roll. And then the white wires going into ground, and then the red wire is the 5 volt. So um, that's the uh, setup we've got. Well, what I need to do now is basically hook up the uh, throttle and then make this a bit more permanent than what I've actually got. But uh, it's nice to finally get to the position where we've got the A4K flight simulator hooked up to a monitor which we're the first time in over 25 years.